Happening tonight is a big decision for the Iowa City School Board. It will decide whether or not to permanently close Hills Elementary School at the end of the academic year. It's been a topic of a discussion for a while. KWWL's Lily Cedardall reports on what the community is hoping for. Yeah, it's been a controversial topic for quite some time. Those attending Hills Elementary School are asking the Iowa City School Board to keep the school open as it's the only elementary school in town serving a large immigrant population. Located just south of Iowa City, Hills has been open for over 60 years. The elementary is one of the most diverse schools in the Iowa City Community School District, with roughly 36% of Hispanic or Latino students in attendance and more than 13% of African American students attending. According to the U.S. News & World Report, about 70% of students at Hills are underprivileged. Hills Mayor Tim Kemp says this is why closing down the school will further be a disadvantage for the Hills community. We have an 80% free and reduced lunch population and we have about a 40% ELL uh, population. So yeah, some of the most disadvantaged kids in the district are being selected to be moved and their, or their building closed uh, because of what they say is the inefficiency of having to provide services here. But yet the inefficiencies are very high at other schools too. The Iowa City School District cites declining enrollment and budget concerns towards the potential closing of Hills Elementary School as it could potentially save the district around $1.6 million. Now the school board is expected to vote on whether to close Hills Elementary School tonight. That meeting will begin at 6 p.m. Should the board vote to close the school, students currently enrolled would be sent to either Alexander or Weber Elementary Schools next school year. As for teachers and staff, they would have the option of being reassigned to another school within the district. Of course, for more information, you can go ahead and go to our website at kwl.com.